I call it a glazed glitter. Glitter. Obviously, obviously, a potter obviously, wooden. a potter wooden. Ooh. No, it's not nice and smooth. Wouldn't want this on your coffee cup. Hey, you missed the spot right here. Hey, are you crazy? It's not cracked, uh... Now this one is actually pretty heavy. And look at these. Wow, the effects of a glaze. It uh, folds up and you kind of knock it off and it crawls and it's a uh, Interesting color, pretty unique. It's actually yellow. A greenish tint. Bubbles and Troubles. All right, I called this design a pod. Now here again, if you've watched any of my other videos, this illustrates the texture in the mold, and it shows up in the cast clay. So this glaze is actually staining the clay and not covering it. So the purpose is simply to highlight these textures in the clay. Now this brownish color results from the same glaze over a white clay except that the brown is a red clay that has been put on top of the white clay. Well, unfortunately, this one's got an unfortunate crack in the back. So instead of 30,000, it's only worth 3,000.
So there's the back side of this pod. Now, let's see, but this one, that's not cracked. But like I'm saying, a potter, if you wanted to, you, anybody could break it. Just squeeze it and break it. Ooh, I'm shaking. Anybody just picking it up could break it. And then all the wool from their fingers get all over it. You let all these people touch it, you know. It's not good for it. Eventually change the colors. That's why these have been sitting in boxes. It's not long after they're made. Long time since I've seen them. Alright, I call these, this design, the tablets. Go figure. Originally, I was going to write on them or do something. But uh, I don't think I ever did. You can see they're a little different in size and slightly different designs and all. But there they go. Now what I do, what I'd like to do, got about 10 years worth of work over a 20 year period and uh, take it in about 1% of what a potter could have done in the same amount of time if he had saved it all he or she doesn't matter but I did save it and uh, so it's a, it's a lot for what this technique and everything, but it's not enough compared to pottery. What I'd like to do, take 10 years worth of work, find a billionaire, and then billionaires from uh, Detroit, Use this as a okay, here's ten years worth of work. Give it to me. You got it. I want to start a, some missionary work. Save some artists. Start an asylum or a reservation there. Keep people off the street. Getting involved in crime and drugs. See how long it'll. Who knows what? That man, he said he ain't a magician. He's being there, but he can't hire some magicians? Sure, he can. That's what an artist is a magician. Let me hire him. Distribute some books to the children. I mean, really. Uh, so long. Now I'm going to come back and look at it again. She's, uh, I have more to say, I think, about this. Yeah.